Hey everybody. Hey, have, have you ever thought about going out on your own and creating your own GIS business? I've thought of that many times, uh, many times throughout the years, but I just never pulled that trigger. I just, you know, my personality is just very risk adverse. So I would always just sub subcontract on the side and, uh, and do that kind of thing. But, but I really envy those that have really gone out there and made that leap and, and just went straight into the GIS business on their own. And, uh, you know, it's a risky adventure, but uh, I really do uh, appreciate those people that have, that have taken that risk. And so today I want to talk about why. Um, why would you want to uh, go out and, and create a side business or create a GIS business? And uh, we'll explore some of those things. And um, just want to let you know, so this is the uh, GIS Leadership Lunch and Learn event. Uh, I am your host, Toby Soto. I am the blogger behind MuniGovGuy.com. And I'm also the GIS manager for the city of Riverside. Uh, my thoughts and opinions are of my own and not of my employer. And I do appreciate and thank you for watching these videos. I really enjoy the comments and uh, the discussions that have really been generated out of these videos. And so I really do appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch me on these. Uh, so let's talk about the why. Uh, why would you want to start your own GIS business? You know, sometimes you're kind of forced to. You know, for example, during the economic crisis, you know, there's the layoffs. And so, you know, you really had to get out there and probably go out on your own uh, to hustle some business and, and get yourself through. Uh, or maybe you relocated, you know, maybe your spouse was re relocated to a different uh, uh, location and you just said, you know what, there's, here's the perfect time to take that leap and create your own GIS business. Uh, another reason would be maybe you have an entrepreneurial spirit. You want to be your own boss. You want to set your own direction. You know, maybe there's certain clients uh, that you want to address or reach out to, and that may be like your niche. Uh, you can also set your own priorities. You know, maybe you want to work with uh, uh, only ports customers or you want to work uh, in application development uh, you set those priorities uh, you can also have set your own hours you have that flexibility you know if you're an entrepreneur you can work when you want to work and for how long you want to work you don't have somebody telling you uh, these are your set times and your set days and, you know you have much more flexibility uh, or maybe you found a better way to do things you know you developed an app or you developed a workflow or a process and you said, you know, I could take that to market. You know, I can make something happen out of this, create a business around it. Um, so th that's normally how things really can get started. Is you just kind of have that untapped niche and you found something that has really resonated with the community and you just want to like go for it because uh, GIS is, is ever changing. There's more and more opportunities coming up uh, for you to be able to create a business around the GIS. You know, many years ago when you wanted to get into GIS, you know, you had to buy a Unix workstation and get the uh, software licensing and right out the door, there's a bunch of overhead. There's like $15,000 just in equipment and licensing and it was very hard to get started in uh, GIS consulting or in the GIS business. Now you can get it for $100, you know, and you're, you're off and running uh, and you have GIS on your desktop. So big contrast, big differences in the way things were in the past to they are now. So that's just to show it's just constantly changing. There's constantly new markets and new niches to fill. And so there's plenty of opportunities uh, to create that, that business that you want to develop. Um, if you're a creative type, uh, going out on your own allows you to explore, uh, explore uh, user interfaces, explore different programming uh, platforms, uh, explore different uh, um, markets, you know, and it also gives you a chance and gives yourself permission to fail, you know. In order to succeed, you must fail. You learn, you learn off those failures, and if you're working for somebody else, you don't, really don't have much uh, options for failure you know so but if you're on your own you can fail you can move on you, and you don't have someone uh, all over you for for making that failure um, 
I, I really envy again those that have really taken that leap because it is it's very risky you know and unless you already have some clients already set up um, you know you're, you're starting from ground zero but you have all the momentum and all the spirit in order to uh, to get that business off and going because um, you are leaving the job security you know of a constant paycheck working for the man um, and so just some examples some people that, that have taken that leap is Patrick Ward of uh, DrawTap GIS, uh, Daniel Elroy of uh, North South GIS, John Donahue, who was a, a co-worker of mine, had uh, gone out on his own and done consulting and was very successful as that. Um, also, Joshua Northcote. I've seen him on LinkedIn. He was uh, been at ESRI for a long time, and he took the leap. He took a leap and uh, created Hounder. And so I really envy the, those people that have, that have taken that step. Again, that's 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 a personality thing. I, I'm a little less. Uh, I'm a little more risk adverse, as I stated earlier. And uh, I do appreciate them for for taking those leaps. So that's it for today. I just wanted to talk about that. You know, if you're thinking about creating a business, uh, some of the reasons why. And uh, again, I appreciate uh, the time that you've taken to view this um, episode. If you have any comments on this, I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear your stories if you've created a, a GIS business or maybe even a side business and what your reasonings were behind that and, and how you got started because, you know, a lot of people need to know how to get from zero to one and not, you know, zero to ten. You know, they just have to take that first leap and maybe you can share some insights on that. So if you want more about GIS leadership and management, you can go to minigovguide.com. Um, I'm also here every Wednesday on Facebook, uh, 1230, and uh, you can also catch these replays on YouTube as well, and I'll be posting these uh, out on LinkedIn too. So anyways, thank you again. I appreciate it. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.